Hey friends, hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to see how can you get the request from Postman. So without wasting any time, let's just get started into it. So this is the Postman. You may you must have to make sure that the Postman is downloaded in your PC. I have a website that is called melshare.com and from where I will get a URL path of get request. I will just put the link in description. So make sure to see from there. So this is the URL path in the description in this hashes for the past 24 hours. And there are so many API endpoint listed over here from get or post methods. So you just have to do one thing. Just uh, coming onto this website, you just have to register from the navigation bar. There is a option there and there you will find the API key after doing register. So let me just register myself here so this is the username and i just got an email i just take the i am not reboot and click the submit button after submitting the button you will get a message that an api key has been emailed to your email address so this is the api key by the way this is the secret key you must have to take care about that and you don't have to share with anyone so just have to copy that api key and just paste onto the notepad for the time being and just paste over here go on to the website that is malshare.com just come back onto that page where we just see the url path you just have to copy the first path you can use any of the get requests i am just taking the first link over here that is listed in the list just paste the url path over here and copy that API key and paste into this square bracket where it is mentioned as API key. Just remove it and paste over here. All right, so this is kind of link, but the link doesn't it starts from www.melshare.com. You just have to do one thing. Just copy the URL of the website that is HTTPS melshare.com and just paste before API key like this. And just copy whole URL from the notepad and go on to the note uh, postman. Just press plus sign uh, right here. After just clicking it, you have to select the get. And in authorization, you have to select no auth. Just paste the URL in the enter request URL. And um, after the pasting of this URL, you have to click send button that is given on the right side of that field on pressing the sending button it will show the output in json format right so this is the output we get after getting the request from that api url path that has been given from the website in case you want to get the request in xml you just select the xml option from the drop down but I just need in JSON so I just selected the JSON on the right side of the navigation bar you can um, take the source code that is actually created by the postman just copy that source code and put onto the python idle so I just selected the python request so I am going to paste over the python idle right so click the file click the new file paste the code over here that has been copied from that web uh, from the postman and just save the file with the name of you can write any of the name i am just putting it right request get.py py is the extension of python request melcher.py just save the file and click the run button after clicking the run button it will take little bit time because the output will be so long so it is showing me squeeze text 1251 i just have to double click that um, squeeze text button so in order to show the result so let me just clicking the button All right, is it is showing that squeeze output is very long. I am just clicking the OK, and this is the output that we get from the Python idle text file, right? 
so this is the same output where you can get from postman so if you want to just put the script and run the file from python so you can do as well that i have shown you before and if you just want to get the output from the postman so you can just paste over here so this is how you can easily get the request from any website if you like this video so please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to tuition tonight thank you